One of the biggest conflicts between quantum mechanics and general relativity is the observer effect in the double slit experiment. And now, we might finally have a real explanation. But surprisingly, it didn't come from one of the world's leading physics centers. It came from an unexpected place, Brazil. If this theory is correct, it could be a critical step toward the long-sought theory of everything. In this video, we introduce a brand new theory that explains how measurement affects the double slit experiment, focusing on the role of the observer and entropy, as described in a recent paper. Published just last week, this study may provide a solid scientific and mathematical explanation for why quantum objects behave like particles when observed. If you'd like to read the paper, we've added the link in the description. Its title is The Observer-Dependent Nature of Entropy Production. For those fascinated by the double-slit mystery, this is exactly what you've been looking for. One important note, the paper's primary goal is not to directly solve the double-slit experiment's mystery, but its findings seem to do just that. In fact, the international science community has already interpreted it as a direct explanation of the observer effect. In the double-slit experiment, when photons or electrons pass through a slit system without their path being measured, they behave like waves. But the moment a measurement is made, they suddenly act like particles. We've known for a long time that the observer's measurement causes this change. But the real question is, what exactly does the observer do during measurement that makes photons switch from wave-like to particle-like behavior? This new theory provides a direct answer to that question. In this paper, physicists introduce a new theory that reveals how quantum disorder is influenced by the observer. More importantly, this discovery offers a clear proposal on how quantum mechanics and general relativity might be connected. For years, physics' two fundamental theories, quantum mechanics and general relativity, have struggled to coexist, often producing conflicting predictions. However, a recent study led by Lucas Celery at the Federal University of Goiás in Brazil has identified a special case where these two theories appear to align. By the way, the University of Goiás is a public institution. This theory doesn't just shed light on the mystery of the double-slit experiment. It also marks a major step toward the theory of everything. The discovery shows that changes in the amount of information in a quantum system are not only linked to the system itself, but also to the observer's movement through space-time. However, there is a key distinction. This connection does not arise directly from the curvature of space-time, but from the observer's exchange of information with the system. In other words, the observer's presence and reference frame influence how a quantum system generates entropy, but the observer does not directly bend space-time. In everyday life, entropy always flows forward. However, the observer's movement and the way measurements are taken determine the amount of entropy and its effect on the system. At its core, the observer is an inseparable part of a quantum system's entropy level. By studying this shared behavior in depth, scientists hope to uncover new clues that could lead to a unified theory of the universe. But before we can truly solve the mystery of the double-slit experiment, we first need to fully understand the concept of entropy. Entropy is a thermodynamic quantity directly related to the disorder or uncertainty of a quantum system. For us humans, the arrow of entropy always points forward in the direction of increase. In other words, disorder always grows. In fact, humanity's struggle is nothing more than a battle against nature's ever-increasing entropy. A hot cup of coffee cools over time. You can see smoke spreading through a room. What we are witnessing is entropy continuing to increase. Unless you reheat the coffee, its entropy will not decrease. It will not warm itself up on its own. This is why nature tends toward increasing entropy. The more unknown information and possible outcomes there are, the higher the entropy. The heat of the coffee spreads into the room, particles interact, and new information is created. This is when we say entropy has increased. When a room becomes messy, energy must be spent to restore order. If you do nothing, entropy does not decrease. This is the essence of it. The same logic applies to the quantum world. If there are many possibilities, the entropy of the quantum system is high. From this perspective, the state of superposition represents the highest entropy, while the particle state represents the lowest entropy. In the quantum world, entropy calculations are typically performed using the two-point measurement method. To put it simply, this method determines entropy change by measuring a system's energy at the beginning and end of a process. 
Let's make this explanation more concrete by measuring the entropy change in a room. First, before bringing a coffee cup into the room, we measure the room's temperature and record it as 22.8120 degrees. Then, we place the coffee cup inside the room and measure the temperature again. The new reading is 22.8121 degrees. This small difference strongly indicates that the entropy of the room has increased. In quantum systems, a similar method is used, but the measurements are far more precise and complex. Of course, solving one of the biggest questions in physics takes much more than just bringing a coffee into a room. To fully understand how observation changes the outcome, or if there is an entropy shift, its implications for space-time must also be examined. If observation truly alters the outcome of the double-slit experiment and affects entropy, then the observer's position and acceleration must also influence this result. To calculate how entropy production in a quantum system changes based on the observer's motion, researchers used Fermi normal coordinates. To explain this simply, they studied how a moving observer changes the entropy state of a quantum system. Let's illustrate this with an example. Researchers measured the temperature difference caused by a cup of coffee inside, both a stationary airplane and a moving airplane. You can think of this temperature difference as an entropy difference. T is important to note that at a macroscopic level, a coffee cup does not change an airplane's entropy based on motion. But in quantum systems, the situation is entirely different. So, what is entropy in the double-slit experiment? When measurement or observation is performed in the double-slit experiment, the wave function collapses and photons exhibit particle-like behavior. In this case, we can conclude, just by looking at the outcome, that observation reduces uncertainty in the system, meaning it reduces entropy. While a superposition state contains infinite possibilities, a particle state contains only one possibility. This suggests that observation achieves this effect through entropy. However, until now, we did not know for certain whether the observer truly reduces the entropy level of a photon. And this is exactly why this discovery is revolutionary. If an observer in the double-slit experiment truly reduces the entropy of a quantum system, meaning the observer and the quantum system interact directly, then the observer's position and acceleration in space-time should also affect the outcome. If the observer's position and acceleration do not change the outcome, we could conclude that the observer's action does not contribute to the system's entropy. But if the observer's position and acceleration do change the entropy of the quantum system, then we would have truly solved the mystery of the double-slit experiment. So did we? Think of it this way. When an observer measures a quantum system using a moving device, the system may continue to display wave-like behavior. However, under the same conditions, if the measurement is made with a stationary device, the system may collapse and exhibit particle-like behavior. If this effect can be precisely measured and calculated, then we could definitively say that the reason for the wave-particle duality is the entropy difference created by the observer's position and reference frame in space-time. If we apply the researcher's method to the double-slit experiment, we see that two observers with different reference frames, one moving and one stationary, affect the entropy levels of a quantum system in mathematically distinct ways. Wow, this is really fascinating. But let's break it down further to make it even more concrete. If we extend this adaptation a bit further, we find that scientists calculated the entropy influence levels of a stationary observer and a moving observer on the same quantum system. And the results provided the long-awaited answer. The entropy level of a quantum system depends on the observer's position and acceleration in space-time. An observer who extracts more entropy causes the collapse of superposition, while an observer who extracts less entropy does not cause the system to collapse under the same conditions. This is precisely where the observer's effect on the quantum system becomes evident. The amount of entropy reduction caused by measurement directly influences the total entropy of the subatomic system. If the entropy reduction is sufficient, it triggers the collapse of superposition. However, not every observation is enough to cause this collapse. What determines the collapse? The amount of entropy reduced by measurement. And what determines that? The observer's position and acceleration in space-time. As a result, the stability of a quantum system is directly linked to the entropy reduction caused by the observer. In other words, the observer and the quantum system form a unified whole. Additionally, 
entropy reduction calculations revealed that a moving observer has less impact than a stationary observer. This means that the observer's motion, their position in space-time, is one of the key factors influencing the collapse of superposition. And the best part? All the equations used in this theory are consistent with both general relativity and quantum mechanics. Now, let's take this highly complex theoretical solution and translate it into something more relatable to everyday life. Imagine a measurement experiment using two laser guns, both emitting beams of the same intensity, one stationary and one moving. Before we proceed, let's clarify something. To make this explanation easier to understand, we are replacing the quantum harmonic oscillator in the paper with a moving laser gun. In this model, both lasers send exactly one unit of energy to the photons as part of their measurement. When a stationary laser performs the measurement, the system behaves like a particle. But when the rotating laser performs the same measurement, the photons retain their wave-like behavior. This discovery demonstrates that an observer's motion, that is, their position and acceleration in space-time, can directly influence the wave-particle transition of a quantum system. In conclusion, an observer can collapse superposition by reducing entropy, but the amount of entropy reduction depends on their motion and position. This theory is considered a major step toward unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, and 2025 is shaping up to be a groundbreaking year for theoretical physics. Ultimately, Schrodinger's cat's fate rests in the hands of the entropy caused by the observer. If someone were to ask, can you theoretically explain why the observer in the double-slit experiment causes the wave-particle duality? We now have an answer. We can say that observation is an inseparable part of the quantum system. And when observation increases the system's entropy enough to collapse superposition, the system behaves like a particle. In response to the question, how do we know that observation reduces the system's entropy? We can explain that when the same strength measurement is performed from different positions and accelerations in space-time, the resulting wave-particle duality also changes. If this theory is experimentally confirmed, it will not only make a major contribution to unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity, but it will also solve one of the biggest mysteries in physics. Such a groundbreaking discovery would almost certainly lead to a Nobel Prize-winning achievement. If this theory is verified in a laboratory in the future, we will have witnessed one of the greatest physics revolutions of the 21st century. And the role of the observer is on its way to becoming one of the fundamental principles of physics. If you subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and like our videos, we can reach even more people. See you in the next video.